The United States has 90,000 tons of nuclear waste stored temporarily in concrete above ground, and that is a big problem. In part because most of it is sitting near major bodies of water, and there's a good reason for that. But in part because nobody can agree where to put it. These storage casks are designed to last 100 years, perhaps more, but we're going to have to figure out what to do with it before we get to that point where they start breaking down. First off, nuclear reactors, especially the early ones, use water from large bodies of water to cool their reactors. So waste is just stored near the facility, which has to be near people because people need power. There are about 60,000 tons of radioactive waste that's sitting near the Great Lakes. This is not just the United States, Canada stores it there too. This has greatly concerned residents, especially since that water serves 40 million people. Canada is planning on building a permanent underground site near the Great Lakes to store their radioactive waste. Many residents are not exactly happy about it, but it's chosen for a reason. It's geologically stable, not a lot of earthquakes there, and it should be safe to dig down into the ground. There should be very little risk that it would ever get into the water, but little risk isn't none. Now we have learned a lot about how to safely store waste and what problems can occur. For Kiribati, a small island in the Pacific, it was used as a nuclear bomb testing site. And at the end of it, all that topsoil was shoved into a big concrete cask. And yes, it is leaking, and it's not great for the people who live there. No, there will be continuous health concerns for everyone who lives there for decades to come, if not forever. That area is also going to be underwater in the next 25 years, and what happens when that starts leaking into the ocean is of concern, but people have been dumping waste into the ocean for quite some time. That's not really a great thing to do, but it's not likely the reason why we've lost so much of our ocean biomass. Remember, we've lost 80% of all ocean biomass in the last 100 years or so, and some project a complete ecological collapse of our ocean ecosystem in about 20 or so years. But back to our storage. Nuclear waste was never supposed to be stored above ground permanently. In fact, there's been a great effort to store waste underground permanently, particularly at the Yucca site in Nevada. But it's a very difficult thing to get people to agree to. There's environmental groups, there's people who live nearby who don't trust it. So the project never moved forward, and we're still storing stuff above ground. As for the integrity of the cask, there are a few concerns. When waste is treated, they use Geobacter, a little bacteria that will solidify the waste, so it's very unlikely to leak out. These facilities do have around-the-clock maintenance and security to make sure that nothing goes wrong. If the casks were beginning to degrade, you could assume that the waste would be moved to another one, so it's not the ticking time bomb you think it is. The concern is that if there's ever a lapse, what happens then if there's a major disaster, like an earthquake? How far will radiation go if there's a fire? That's also a huge problem. There's, of course, the concern that bad actors may damage a storage facility. These casks will last at least 100 years. That's how they're designed. So if we never have a storage facility site, they're probably just going to be maintained. However, the long-term storage of our waste is going to be an increasing concern, especially as the population grows, technology grows, and more power is required. We can see that as tech companies are purchasing nuclear facilities so that they can power their servers. And look, I'm not against nuclear power at all. There is the concern of how we are going to continue to manage it, and hopefully we'll do the right thing.